Rock art has two types. Pictographs are made of paintings. Petroglyphs are actually chipping into the rock and carving. Those are the two types of rock art. Now here we have strictly pictographs. And these pictographs are of two types. One is a carbon from the fire, you know, from using carbonized sticks from fires. And the other is this red ochre. Now, rock art is very difficult to deal with because two factors. One is a natural factor, the exfoliation of the walls. Exfoliation means these walls in, a, in an overhang like this will gradually start in certain places to come off in sheets. And you can see that around you where they've lost whole sheets of rock. And if you had rock art on top of those sheets and they come off, you've lost it completely. Other areas why you get a limestone buildup from the water running across the face and it'll, it'll, it'll fate cause uh, accumulations over the pictographs so that you can't really see them adequately. Um, and then you have people coming in at different periods of time. Now these, this rock art behind me can represent several thousand years worth of people just coming in either from land or by sea and putting in their, their statement of what, what they wanted to say here on the wall. And uh, they will sometimes write over other people's writings. So that makes it harder to see. Here we've got some overlapping. And here some of the more interesting things are in the red pigments. And, and uh, it's difficult at this stage to really interpret them. We can read the Arabic, others can read it, but uh, some of the other, other symbols here, other than the camels, are a little more difficult and it takes some time to de be able to decipher them. Particularly this unknown script behind me, um, we really don't have any idea what, what, the, uh, what the letters in that script mean.